Kung Fu Critic. Why the King Critic? The K is for keg and sometimes karate. How's it going, everybody? New film today. Skip Trace. I actually just picked this up for only $3. Shrink Wrap came with a digital copy. It's got Jackie Chan in it. Johnny Knoxville's there. They're trying for that whole put Jackie with a Western star and see if that hits with the Western audience deal. I don't know anything about this. I actually didn't hear that much, and I kind of skipped by it. So we're going to see how they do. The first cast. Our cast includes Benny Chan, starring Jackie Chan. Connor Watts, actor, Johnny Knoxville. Samantha Bai, the goddaughter, actress, Fan Bingbing. And our baddie, Handsome Willie, played by actor, Yeon jung Hoon. That's our cast. Now, let's go to the flip. Our story begins with Jackie, as usual, a cop in Hong Kong, chasing after his partner, saying, what's wrong? What's going on? He gets up there, partner has dynamite strapped to him. He says, look, here's my watch. Take care of my daughter. He jumps in the water. Boom! Jackie's partner is dead. Not an unusual occurrence, I would say, with some of the things that happens in Hong Kong to Jackie, but moving on, we then hop to our introduction title sequence, which is crap. Look at this. The stupid colors, the over-the-top elements, the cartoonish. Is this supposed to be amusing? And look at this sequence here where everybody's getting electrocuted and it has little electric lightning bolts shooting around and they look so funny. I don't know. This is crap. This is not the way you start off a film. We then go nine years into the future and Jackie's still a cop. He's still on the hunt of the man responsible for killing his partner. He's going down the waterway and with a one and two helping him out, he finds out that handsome Willie... Seriously? Going for a name gag here? This is not that funny. Handsome Willie is there, and Handsome Willie knows where the matador, the head of all the baddies, is. So, Jackie's got to get him. He does some of his usual elements here. It's he's, Jackie's a little bit slower. You can tell the age is definitely hitting him. But he's still doing his usual tricks. Very nice. Another funny moment. You got a dog come in with a ball in its mouth, and Jackie throws the ball to play. Uh-oh, uh -oh, went bad. All hell breaks loose. Fight sequence occurs. Again, Jackie's a little bit slow, but he's trying to have a big, explosive intro to the film by having everything fall apart below. Jackie, of course, doesn't get the baddie at the beginning. Handsome Willie gets away, and Jackie is told, you need to take a break from the force. This is okay. Now we hop over to Johnny Knoxville, who is currently tied up upside down on a bowling alley with Russians throwing bowling balls at his head. But then he narrates, great, we go back, and we find him on an airplane, where he's trying to be charming and interesting and sexy, but a scoundrel. He's trying to be Han Solo. You're not that. You can't pull it off. It just comes off bad. I don't know if it's my personal opinion of Johnny Knoxville, or the fact that he looks, sounds, and acts like he doesn't know how to do this. But it's one of those two. The women are all listening to him. They're fawning over him. Oh, Johnny, you're so handsome. He gets off the plane, goes through his passport. The woman looks gruff, and he says, I came here just to meet you. She smiles and says, welcome. Okay, you're a charmer. Goes to a casino, starts cheating, winning lots of money. But he's got an American cowboy hat on. He's all funny, cool playboy. Uh, the, her beauty enters, and that's the goddaughter of Jackie Chan. She's also working kind of undercover for Handsome Willie. Johnny helps her out a little bit, but also helps himself to her key card. When the Russians show up, he immediately runs into an elevator, uses the key card, goes up to the top floor. A woman dies in his arms, gives him a phone, and says, please keep this, it's important to my safety. She dies. He comes back down and says to the Russians, hey, I'm here. He'd rather be taken by them than be killed in the casino. He's then taken back to Russia, where he is tied up. Jackie finds out that his goddaughter's in trouble. She lost the key card, and Handsome Willie is not happy about it. So Jackie says, don't worry, I'll find it. I'll get the guy. He figures out exactly where Johnny went, goes right to Russia, locates him, and we have an action sequence. Now, you know how, you know, Jackie Chan and Owen Wilson, Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker, Rush Hour, you know, and in Shanghai New. 
the Western stars knew to do a little bit of action decently, but leave most of it to Jackie. Here, Johnny Knoxville doesn't attempt anything. He stays tied up, Jackie puts him in the barrel and rolls him down, out of the way. Which I kind of appreciate, but then at the same time, you're not getting anything from the other actor. And some of this is hard to watch. Watch Jackie run here. It looks like it's really hard, and I know he's beating the crap out of his body, but it's hard to watch. <laughs> he tries to pull this off. Again, it's really slow. He even makes, <laughs> makes a boob joke. This woman gets stuck, and he says double Ds, and she says triple Ds, and she gets her boobs out of the way. It just doesn't flow well for Jackie. It seems like something that Johnny Knoxville said, hey, boob joke would be funny, man, and it's edgy. You haven't done that. There's also a part where there's got Russian nesting dolls that keep getting broken by that same woman. And again, it's supposed to be a really cool sequence, but it's done so slow and so odd that it just doesn't feel... It's got that spark, you know what I mean? Either way, they get away from the Russians. They find themselves in the middle of nowhere, riding on a tuk-tuk. As they're on the tuk-tuk, all of a sudden there's this super preachy moment about how Johnny tells Jackie, you gotta have more fun. You gotta smile and enjoy life. Don't be so serious. And then Jackie punches him in the face and tells him, You are a liar and a thief, and I don't like you. <laughs> Which is my feelings exactly. So when he gets that punch, I enjoy it. The tuk tuk breaks down. They have a few comical moments. They eventually find themselves in the middle of a Mongolian village in the middle of nowhere. Jackie quickly befriends everybody by showing off his moves. Fight, kick, punch, yay, hooray. And now it's nighttime and Jackie is singing Adele. Where the hell did this come from? I know Jackie has made CD albums before. He's sung before. But just this seems so out of place in a film for him. And then the whole village can sing it because, you know, everybody likes Adele and we all know her song. Sorry, I can't play, you know, copyright crap. You know how that goes. Anyways, they eventually... Get out of the village. Jackie finds out that John Knoxville's been lying to him again, even after they talked about the phone and how important it is to save everybody. Jackie gets on a horse, ties up Johnny Knoxville, and drags him along. There's a sequence here where they must have been feeding this horse laxatives like crazy to make it take a huge crap. I mean, look at this. And Jackie says... You're full of horse apples. But if you look at his mouth, I think they redubbed it. And I think somebody at the studio, or maybe Jackie himself, said, I kind of don't want to curse that bad in film, so can I say horse apples? And they changed it. Anyways, a flub like that cracks me up. The horse crap, not cracking me up as much. They eventually make their way to another village deep in China after they cross the border. They're trying to get back home as fast as they can because the goddaughter has been captured by the Metador. Once they get to the mud village... They have to play in the mud. Handsome Willie's trying to... I'm bored. <laughs> There's a reason this was $3. There's no chemistry here. It's a bad script. He's older. They didn't do the action appropriate to his age. I know he did it himself, but just I think he was trying to do some different elements here. For $3 brand new with a digital copy, don't even bother with it. That was just ridiculous. He wanted a Jackie Chan movie, buy his earlier stuff, and even some of his newer stuff isn't that bad. But that one is. Thanks again for watching, folks. Don't worry, we'll cover something else, something a little bit more fun, alright? But thanks for watching, and once again, take care. Somebody's got to stand, somebody's got to fall. One, two, three, and a bell at the call. It's Hong Kung Fu, it's a fight, not a draw. What they come to see is people bounce off the wall and hear the people all. Oh.